What's going on everyone? Welcome to Webflow Wednesdays. Today we are going to go over three of my favorite Webflow websites for the month of September. So make sure you stick around right after this intro. Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing great at home over there. My name is RR Abrat and I'm the founder and creative director. What's up everyone? My name is RR Abrat and I'm the founder and creative director at Abrat Creative. We are a design agency focused on helping mission-driven organizations with their websites and we create our websites particularly through this amazing tool called Webflow. By the way, real quick, I want to give a shout out to the team over there, Webflow. Congratulations on your 100,000th customer. You guys are killing it. I love what you're doing. You have helped me grow by my business and I'm just here to help spread the message of no code. But without further ado, we are going to go over these three websites. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I think you will enjoy these websites. We had some awesome websites the last month, but I think these three websites are pretty killer as well. So let's hop right into it. The first website that we want to look at is this website by a developer, a web developer and product designer named Ambre Marguerite. I think I'm saying that correctly. I really hope I am. If I'm not, I'm so sorry. And I want you to check out this website. We're going to go ahead and refresh it so you guys can uh, get uh, the full view right when you get in. So you look at the refresh and bam, you see the animation once you enter in. Those are big right now. Make sure you have some loading animation in your websites. And the one thing I want to point out is the mouse work. Whenever I used to see websites like this, uh, where the mouse is, you know, different, it's modified. I've always wondered how to do that in code. And uh, even the Webflow websites, I, th I thought I would think, man, you know what? I'm pretty sure they put some custom code, some custom JavaScript code in there. But then I found out you can actually do all these animations directly in Webflow. It's called the, I believe it's mouse uh, uh, scrolling animation or mouse uh, view or mouse, something like that. I think it's called like a mouse scrolling animation where it has some animation. If you've seen some websites where when you move it around, uh, elements of the websites move around with the mouse. So that's one of the um, elements that you need, um, that you use for that animation. And I want to, I want to expect how she did this because this is amazing how she did this mouse work. Notice how the website moves along with the mouse. If you go left, goes here and all that stuff. And I want to point out this right here. Notice how the picture changes as she is moving around and even the, the details, people. But look at the, the picture as it curves and it, it, go, it curves even more if you go faster. Like that is just intense. Good job, Ombre Marguerite. And, but anyways, um, I want to inspect this element, how she did this. Cause I was looking at this for a while. I was like looking at the code and I was like reading it and I was kind of figuring out how she did this, where the picture is behind the words and there's a mouse following it and the curvature before I reveal how she was probably able to do this in Webflow, I want you to notice something. If we check out the code of this site, Notice, uh, um, notice where he says here projects and look at all the numbers. Look at all the data that you have to calculate if you were to do this in code. Look at all this uh, uh, the data that you'd have to calculate and inspect and all that stuff. But because of Webflow, it makes it so much easier, less math, and you're able to do this visually in your interface, in your dashboard or designer uh, tool, which is amazing. But anyways, so let's look at this. Check this out. Uh, what I believe that she did, if you're wondering how she did this, I believe what she did was she had a div, an element, which is where the picture is, and she would have it behind the uh, the letters, like the words about and work. Now, notice, uh, by the way, if you don't know anything about Z index, some of you may wonder what that is. You can see that in your Webflow um, designer tool, the Z index is pretty much like layers. So if you were to layer something on top of each other, that's when the Z index comes in. I'll give you an example. I would probably think the background would be like a Z index one. And then this picture right here of her speaking would be a Z index two. And then the words would be a Z index three. And then the circle itself would be the Z index 
four. So if you were to think about like Photoshop layers, same thing. So I think what she did is she had the pictures, probably like a Z index two, and it is set to follow the mouse wherever it goes. And that should have the word overlaying over it. And that also follows the mouse in a different way. And then the circle overlaying uh, on a Z index after the letters following the mouse wherever it goes. And then all you got to do after that is you go to, um, I think, cursor control or pointer control, the very bottom of your designer, and you can just turn off the cursor so you won't have a mouse pointer. And then so she's able to have all these elements. So this is actually not a lot of layers, uh, not a lot of elements. It's mostly a ton of animation work that she did. It's a very simple portfolio. When you click the about, it has some traditional animations here, which I think is foolproof. You can never fail with that type of that, you know, fade in and going up animation. That's always, I'm not gonna, that's like my default animation whenever I create something. So as you scroll down, it uh, fades in and, um, you know, goes up. I'm not saying anything bad about the animation because the animation, I mean, it's, it's 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 prevalent in a lot of places for a reason because it's beautiful right i use it a lot so here's her some of her stuff and you could also check out her um uh her work here so if you're looking for a designer or a developer man ombre marguerite is definitely one to go to um and look how simple her portfolio is it's complicated but simple at the same time there's not really so much information you see her personality in it you see her skills in it you see her design uh her art sense in it and she's able to do all those things so i mean if i were an employer looking for someone i'd totally you know hit this girl up all right or call this girl some of y'all might not know that technology i'm not gonna hit her like you know hit her up like give her a call the next website that we want to look at is another digital designer and their agency is called web Timize. and i want to look at some design elements that they did and some uh, animation elements that they did with this website. So this website has a combination. It's pretty simple with some elements of, uh, uh, I believe it's called Neumorphic. So Neumorphic elements where it's like a 3D, but it's like the same color. So you add some shadows and embossing to make it look 3D. So it's like 3D, but it's like not 3D. And you're like, what is going on here? But uh, I want to look at these elements, how they did these design elements. So it's very simple. I'm looking at this right here, the button, and I'm seeing the, tra the the animation, the hover animation that they did. There's one part that I can't figure out, I will admit. Um, I, I kind of figure out how they did the whole, um, where the red overlays and goes up. That's actually pretty simple. I have some buttons that I've done that does this where uh, you actually pretty much have two, uh, you have a colored background and you have another element another back another element in your background whether it be a color or a picture or an image something and before the hover animation that background is out of the picture so it's like it's like move so if you ever think there's a button the the background's over here and when you hover it it goes up and so that's kind of what they did here same thing with the button i think but the one i can't figure out is the letters itself notice how with the letters as you go over it the white kind of comes from the middle and animates that way. So that's the one I can't figure out. Let me know if you got that. Let's scroll down a little bit. And, um, oh man, I have the clicky, I have a clicky mouse and it's kind of ruining the animation. So I'm sorry about that. There, one thing that I want to check out, I see, I love the details, right? I always told y'all, I love the details. Notice how the next part of this uh, website is be bold, be different. And when you go down, boom, it's bold, it's different. The background changes, right? And there's the new morphic elements with the process. Notice how it it reveals as you scroll down. That is great work, Webtimize. I love that little detail that you did there. And I love these things right here where it kind of um, the element or the div sticks to the top. And then as you scroll down, instead of actually scrolling down, it's revealing more elements to the traditional scroll down i've been wanting to do that with some of my websites i just i'm not gonna i haven't had the time to but we'll definitely get that and one thing also that i love that they did is that timeline up here where you know where you are in the website and you see that little bar in the very top right there you guys see that that's um i love when a website has that 
And then once again, we have the neomorphic elements of the project, the laptop opening as you scroll down. Uh, this is actually pretty popular. You know, these animations are pretty much, are, are, are really known and pretty big throughout the Webflow community. And you're able to do this. There's actually some guy on the uh, Webflow community that would remake a lot of the Apple websites. If you ever seen the product pages of Apple, they're just so beautiful, so innovative. And he he tries to remake them on Webflow. He does a great job with that. And I love what the animation here with the button. Check this out. Once you hover over it, see how it's like a it's almost like you actually clicked the button itself. So the the shadows kind of invert from the outside to the inside. Those are beautiful things. And so we'll go ahead and keep scrolling down. There's the reviews where it goes left and right. I just scrolled down. That's one thing that I actually did on a website recently. I had some pictures that I wanted to show, but I wanted to show all of it. So I just scrolled down. It would go left and right. And then we have the pricing and so on and so forth. Picture changing. So I love the, the simplicity of this. The design elements here. Your website doesn't have to be, you know, have all these. Um, as long as you have a consistent branding and feel and you're doing it. You're doing a great job with that. And the little details is really what um, puts it over the edge. Now, last one. I really want to show you guys this. And this one, the animations is really not that much. Because, um, you know, we were like into the animations, right? But the design. I love the design. It, and I got to show it to you guys. I got to show it to the branding, the look, the feel of it. How it makes me feel as a user. I just love everything about it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's called dockyardsocial.com. And let me go ahead and refresh this so you see that beautiful animation here. But bam, it is an event that's going on. I, I'm not exactly sure what it is, where this is, but it has that feel, you know, of like a, like a really a hip event, something that you want to go to, um, kind of like a concert, something... Um, like underground, you know, and uh, only uh, uh, invite, select few invited, right? So it makes you really want to be a part of this beautiful event that they have going on. I love the look and the feel of this site. Just the simple typography, the color, uh, the color coordination that they did here, even with the pictures, it's just awesome. I love this hover animation that they did. When you get to the button, notice there's a very block shadow very different from the other shadows that we've seen, right? But as you click it, it goes down. That is just, ah, oh, little details like that. I love it. Mwah. Good job. Dr. Social. Mwah. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, as we scroll down, we see more of what's going on in this event. A lot of people associate Webflow with something more to create your portfolio, just to show off your design skills. But Webflow is also very effective in event product they have e-commerce now which i haven't yet to try let me know in the comments below if you've able to try webflow e-commerce and how that's worked out for you um, i've been really interested in it because my wife has an e-commerce store um, so we're trying to figure out what we do as we create a new site for her but look at these uh, um just the event right here this is just so beautiful i love this part right here um <laughs> it cracks me up it says here our web developer said it would be really cool um to put big scrolling text here but they never bothered to write anything to put in it and see those things those little um personality just really invites people and it's just amazing branding great job once again people the, the designer especially you the designer of this website dr social major props to you great job and I think that's pretty much it. I encourage you to check out these websites. I'm going to put the links of these websites below so you can check them out for yourself and be able to inspect and get some inspiration. I get a lot of my inspiration from many places. I always get asked, where do you get inspiration from for your websites? There's different places I go to, like awards. Um, the Webflow uh, Showcase is a great place to look for because people have done amazing, amazing work there in the Webflow Showcase. So I encourage you to check those out. Check these websites out and check them out for yourself. Well, that's it for today, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you click that like button, smash it, destroy it, and then go ahead and subscribe. We come out with content at least twice a week, Webflow tutorials, and also talking about freelance 
uh, how to get clients and how to start your freelance business if you're a designer here look at the jumpstart your freelance career i encourage you to check out my videos below i don't have any course that i'm selling or anything i just want to be able to help and share what i've learned over the past couple of years of being a freelance web designer especially want to encourage you to check out my last video the one i posted last saturday i believe it's probably one of the best videos i've done it's how to be a web designer in 2020 yeah this year the worst year ever right but how to be a web designer in 2020 i want to encourage you to check out that out click the link right here and you'll be directed to that video until next time guys please like please subscribe turn on notifications and i hope to see you next time i encourage you to always keep learning peace